Monkey, a trickster tale from India. Monkey, a trickster tale from India. As told by Gerald McDermott. Monkey, chattering monkey. He lived high in a tree on the banks of the wide flowing river. Monkey jumped so high and so fast through the treetops, no one could catch him. But catching Monkey was exactly what Crocodile wanted to do. Hmm, murmured the hungry Crocodile. How delicious a monkey heart would be. Crocodile slithered into the water. Good morning, Monkey, he called out. Good morning, Crocodile, answered Monkey. Where are you going? To the island in the middle of the river, answered Crocodile. Yum, said Monkey. Delicious mangroves grow there, but that's too far for me to swing. <laughs> Climb on my back, my friend, called the Crocodile. I'll take you to the island. <laughs> Monkey swung down from the tree and hopped onto Crocodile's scaly back. As Crocodile glided through the deep, dark water, he sank lower and lower. Monkey began to get wet. Oh, oh my goodness, I cannot swim, shouted the monkey. How well I know, said the crocodile. Now I'm going to eat your heart. Eat my heart, said Monkey. What a pity. I left it up in the tree. You left your heart in the tree? Crocodile grumbled. What a nuisance. Crocodile returned with Monkey to the muddy brown riverbank. As soon as they reached the shore, Monkey leaped off Crocodile's back and scampered up a tree laughing and chattering. Look, my heart is here, called Monkey from the treetop. Just climb up and get it. Crocodile grunted and thrashed and swam away. Now Monkey wanted the delicious mangoes more than ever. He leaped from treetop to treetop until he discovered some large rocks far downstream. He saw that if he skipped across the rocks to the island, he could feast on mangoes every day. The next morning, Crocodile came swimming down the river looking for Monkey. He heard Monkey chattering. He saw a monkey jump from tree, to rock, to island. I shall pretend to be a rock, said the crocodile. When monkey jumps on me, I will snap him up, heart and all. Crocodile laid low in the water all day long. When monkey had eaten his fill, he headed for home with all the mangoes he could carry. He jumped off the island onto a rock in the river. He was about to jump on another rock, but, but something was wrong. Monkey looked closer. Then he called out in a cheery voice. Hello, rock. Crocodile was silent. He lay low in the water. Monkey called out again. I say, good morning, rock. Crocodile said nothing. Rock, will you not greet me this evening? Asked Monkey. Crocodile thought the rock must usually answer. He said, good evening. Ha, you're not rock, said Monkey. You're crocodile. I'm as good as a rock, said Crocodile. You can jump on me to get to the other side. Oh, what a splendid idea, said Monkey. Here I come. 
monkey got ready to leap. Crocodile closed his eyes and opened his jaws. But instead of leaping, monkey popped a mango right into Crocodile's mouth. Bang! Crocodile snapped his jaws shut. Quickly, monkey jumped on Crocodile's nose and then onto the muddy brown riverbank. Laughing and chattering, Monkey scampered up a tree and swung from branch to branch. Your teeth may be sharp, Monkey shouted to Crocodile, but your mind is dull. Now Monkey feasts on delicious mangoes every day. Crocodile lies low in the water keeping his eye on him. And when Monkey crosses the river to go home, he is always careful to jump on a rock. Not on a crocodile.